Welcome to my channel, Freckled Mom DIY. I'm Devin. If you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, hey, I'm going to share with you some home decor that is interchangeable for different holidays. It's also a challenge. I'll tell you more about that in a little bit, but let's get started on these DIYs. This is my version of a wood round. This I had gotten at the Target dollar spot for $3 and it's reversible, so perfect for this challenge. And uh, I have two ideas here, which you can't see because of the glare. So I had gone to my Cameo and I printed off two different vinyl pictures and I'm going to use the vinyl right on that wood let's make this super easy and super adorable now if you guys know i am a lover of everything i love the sun i love the moon sometimes i love weeding sometimes i don't so this is just me weeding along and i am in love with this picture this is so sweet it's a sunflower sunflowers are super special and super sweet to me and that's why i picked it so here i am just putting down my transfer tape and i only had little ones so i just doubled it up and i rub it really good i flip it over rub it on the back this to me is just the easiest way to get it off the paper and now i just peel it like that and the whole thing comes right off and i lay the vinyl right on top of my wood round i chose the white side for the sunflower and i sped this up a little bit just because i was having some issues there were a lot of thin pieces that did not want to stay down so now i'm on to my next stencil and this one is my moon so this is going to be reversible and i love this picture this is a challenge for us to create home decor that is reversible or interchangeable, meaning you could use it for Easter or Halloween, or welcome home, or goodbye. This is hosted by Teresa B. DIY. Make sure you check out her channel as well as the playlist, which is down in the description. Let's get back to this DIY. I use the same transfer paper I had used on the previous project. I have a habit of saving my transfer papers. And now I'm just rubbing it down and making sure I have a good adherence before I peel up the paper. This one did the same thing as the other one. Some of these thin pieces did not want to work out too well, but here it is. Oh my goodness, it is so sweet. I am in love. I put this in my craft room and depending on my mood, I'm gonna flip it depending on what I feel like the day is gonna bring. And I just love this. Let me know down in the comments what you think. If you're new to my channel or coming over from the challenge, welcome. On my channel, we like to do Dollar Tree crafts, DIY gifts and decor, thrift flipping, and more. If you like these kinds of videos, please consider subscribing and joining our family. Also, when you hit the bell, you'll be notified every time I post a new video. You can also find me on Instagram as Freckled Mom. I have another super easy project, and this is a basket that you can decorate any way you want. I'm going to show you the way I decorated it, but you can do whatever you want for whatever holiday. So I had gotten this for free at the thrift store clean out. You guys know I got a lot of stuff. If you missed that video, I'm going to link it down in my description. I'm painting this with Newberry Port Blue. I love this color. I think it's super sweet. It matches my house and it's just one of my favorite colors. I did tape off the edge up there. You'll see what I'm going to do after. And I'm just doing not exactly a dry brush on that edge, but just so it's not soaked in the paint and then i do the handles and i love how this came out i did have to go through with that little brush there just to get a little bit of the detail i flipped it over so i can get more of the handle and then i did the same technique where i didn't exactly soak it i just kind of laid it on there and now i have my chalk 
paint linen white and I'm going through with a smaller paintbrush and I'm getting the rim of this basket and you could do whatever colors you wanted this matches my house but you can see I am going to style it two different ways for you guys and I think this is so sweet and if you did this maybe with a black and white or a brown and white some neutral colors you could do this for home decor for any season or for any holiday I think this is just a nice versatile piece that you can use for you know staging up something or maybe if you're having a party and you want to just throw everything inside of it all your paper plates and your napkins I just think this is such a good idea and this is how I have it now in my dining room and if you guys missed that video it is so much fun I had so many great DIYs Let me know down in the comments what color you would have painted this basket. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and comment below what your favorite DIY was today. If you found inspiration or like these kind of videos, please consider subscribing and joining our family. You can find me on Instagram as Freckled Mom. I recently started a new channel, Freckled Mom at Home. If you like cleaning, organizing, decorating, and cooking, please consider subscribing to that channel as well. That link is down in my description. I have a lot coming up on both channels. Make sure you hit the bell so you'll be notified every time I post a new video. Another way you can support my channel is buymeacoffee.com. That link is also down in my description. Don't forget, this was a reversible interchangeable challenge hosted by Teresa B. DIY. Make sure to check her out and follow along the playlist. My next video is on my new channel, Freckled Mom at Home, and I'll be back here for more DIYs on July 5th. Happy 4th of July if I don't see you. I'm hoping to go live before the holiday, so I'll see you, I'm sure. Have a great day.